Hi guys, today's video is going to be um, a tutorial for this look and it is a John Galliano Spring 2009 ready to wear look. Um, it's actually from the same collection that the look that I did with the dash um, eyebrows is from. It's actually from the same thing. Um, and yeah, so the makeup looked like this and it was really cute. It reminds me of a bunny and the girl or the models I should say have like white froze with, like pink bows I think on them. So cute. Obviously I don't have white froze. I wish I had a white froze. That would be really cool, but I don't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up just doing the makeup. It's really easy, really quick surprisingly. Um, it's cute. You could use it to like a bunny look if you wanted to really because it's, it's that cute. It's got the little noose. Um, yeah, so I do hope you enjoy it and here's the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is the eyes and um, the first color I'm going to use is this color from MAC. This is Goldmine and actually I'm probably going to use quite a few of these colors. Um, this is Goldmine, this is Amber Lights, this is Juiced I think, this is Off the Page, Rule, and Orange. So I'm going to use quite a bit of combinations of those so without having to put it up all the time. I'm going to use mostly those. So I'm going to pick up Goldmine on a 219 and I've already applied Urban Decay Primer Potion um, all over my lid and underneath as well. And I'm just taking this on that brush and I'm going to put it right on the inner corner and right underneath my eye. It's okay if it gets down a little bit because it's okay. And then I'm just going to continue kind of just taking that color sort of right onto the lid. This color blends out really easily and nicely, so that's good. And then just losing a little bit of a lighter color, I'm actually going to use this one. Ooh, I can't grab it. Uh, this is Crush the Wave. A little bit of a shimmery kind of yellow. I'm just going to put a little bit of that right in the center. And also just a little bit of that on the inner corner just to lighten it up a little bit. So then once you have that on, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, 224 like brush and I'm going to go into a mix of wool and orange um, just to blend out this um, orange color in the crease. So I'm going to take a little bit of wool first since it's a little bit lighter. And the reason why I'm using this brush is because I want it to just be very um, faded out. I don't want it to be like necessarily a placement of color as much as it's just sort of like a fade. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to try to take that like right up to where the brow is. And I'm also going to go right kind of like along the inside corner of my eye and take that right into um, the eyebrow. You can see that I did on this side. And then just make both sides match. I'm just going to take a little bit of orange and just kind of darken that up a little bit if you need to. Okay, and then for eyes, that's pretty much it. Like it's it's actually really quite easy. Um, there's not a lot of necessary skill involved with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out, and I'm going to show you how to do like the face part. Um, for eyes, pretty much what you want to do is just curl your lashes, put some lashes on, and that's done. Um, so the next thing is going to do the face um, highlight. And the color I'm using is actually an eyeshadow color. This is, again, from MAC, and this is um, Post Haste. I'm pretty sure they discontinued this, but um, Passionate is really close to that. They still have that, even. Um, and I'm taking a just a like blush brush, like one of these contoured ones. Um, the MAC equivalent is the 168. If you're into using MAC stuff. Um, and I'm just dusting a bit of that color. I know it looks crazy, but it's just another, it's just from staining. And I'm just really going to put this right kind of where my contour is, use it as a blush, and I'm using it kind of as like a forehead highlight. Because if you see in the picture, they kind of have that going on. So, yeah. color on you can of course take a brush like this um, a clean like, 108 or 10, 108 109 I forget what this is called 
and um, somebody will correct me in the comments and just kind of blend it out so that it all blends out uh, nicely. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to darken this pink up. I know what you're thinking, that's not pink enough. No, it's not. Um, I'm going to use this blush, which is, I call it the Pikachu blush. Um, it's frankly scarlet from MAC, which is essentially like a very, very either, I don't know if it's, I think it's red, but it's very like, or very, very pink, one or the other, or very, very red pink. Um, and it's kind of a crazy blush. So I'm like very lightly tapping that in there. And I'm just going to use that to uh, darken up that color. To make it like very, very, very pink. <laughs> bit overboard which you can do when you're working with a blush that, that's color um, again just take a brush and just kind of blend it out and the next thing I did you can see that they kind of continued a little bit of the orange um, I'm just going to take a little bit of rule and just using this brush just get a little bit of that on there, just a tiny bit. And I'm just gonna put that kind of right on the top of that pink. So it makes it a little bit orange. And then using a 224, I'm just going into gold mine, which is this one right there. Get a little bit of that. And that's gonna go right on top of that even as like a highlight kind of color. You can kind of continue it from the eye if you wanted to. It's going to make a nice fade of like kind of like a sunsetty um, fade of color. It looks really pretty. And then that's pretty much it for uh, face. Once it just get it even. Mine's not exactly even, but who cares? Um, <laughs> so the next thing is, I guess, lips. And a good color for this that I found is Show Orchid. Um, this is kind of similar to what the cheeks are, only I'm not going to use it full strength, so I'm just going to dab it on my lips. Works as opposed to just like wiping it on. Makes it a little bit lighter. It kind of matches that blush color like pretty good. Oh, I'm losing my voice. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the gold mine color again, which is a really nice gold. And I'm going to put it right here. Just need a little bit of that shimmer. Just like that. And then I'm going to get that right on to the cupid's bow as well. Let's see. Looky like that. <laughs> um, and then in the picture, there's also, she has a really cute um, pink nose, which I think is really adorable. It makes her look like a bunny and it's really cute. So I'm just going to take whatever's left on this brush, which I imagine there's still going to be a lot of eyeshadow left, and just dust it right kind of on like the underside tip of your nose. Just like that. And then the tip of the nose had a little bit of highlight too. Like that. And you look like a bunny. Um... <laughs> No, so I'm just going to finish this up. I'm just going to put a uh, coat of mascara on my eyelashes. So uh, yeah, that's how you end up doing the look. And it's really simple and it's really quick. And I really like it. And I wish I had a big white fro like the girl does in the picture. But I don't. <laughs> it makes me sad because I want a big white fro. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do the look. I think it's really fun. And it's actually like a really easy... Look, it's one of those things that like looks hard, but it's not, which is fun. Um, yeah, so I want to see you guys actually try this one out because it's, it's really cute and you look like a bunny and I like it. Like if you had ears, you could totally wear this as a high fashion bunny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I do hope you guys enjoy this one and until my next video, I will talk to all you soon. Bye! And a party. Hi guys, today's video is going to be um, a, 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 a